Hello, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Program, and let's have a look at some of the changes that have happened to the extravaganza. And uh, this is really quite sad here. We're having a look at some of the pieces Archie sold off. The Patek Philippe annual calendar, the 5035 in yellow gold. This is Archie's biggest mistake. This was a holy trinity, Patek Philippe, first annual calendar. What the fuck were you thinking, Archie? Why did you sell it? Look at the beautiful pictures here. Look at that crisp, crisp crocodile strap. What the fuck were you thinking, Archie? How could you have sold it? It's gorgeous. And uh, Archie, the only thing worse than selling the annual calendar was selling your signature piece, the um, 5107. What the fuck were you thinking? Why would you sell this to buy a gold sub? I mean, Archie, for fuck's sake. Sake. I mean, there is no class in a gold sub. And uh, you sold your white gold Calatrava. What were you trying to do? What were you trying to do? do? You're not. You're not. It's just just an absolute mistake. I mean, that was a classy piece. That was your signature piece. That was a piece you could meet prime ministers. You could meet heads of state with and uh, you sold it i can't believe you did that archie what the fuck were you thinking you got it at a great price it was a patek philippe and you sold it what the hell were you thinking no idea why you did that archie and uh, I gotta say, you've made some very poor choices of recent times here. And uh, another big mistake you had, you had this beautiful chronograph brege. I mean, a brege for fuck's sake. I mean, this is high end watchmaking at its best. You sold your brege transatlantic after it just been completely overhauled, serviced. You sold it. You sold it. It's absolutely schmicko. You didn't even get to enjoy it. You flipped it. You flipped it, Archie. What the hell were you thinking? I mean, this is uh, high-end chronograph at its best. I mean, every prick's got an Amiga Speedmaster man on the moon. I mean, fuck me dead, Archie. Fuck me dead. Why did you get rid of the Breguet? The Breguet is class. It's style. It's sophistication. And you just had it serviced. I had that problem with the dicky, dicky minute indicator. Well, that was fixed up. They put a new crown on. It was absolutely schmicko, schmicko, Archie. And uh, the only saving grace I can tell you is that at least, Archie, you kept your Jager Le Coultre Reverso Grand Date. I mean, that is a cool piece. And uh, i got to say, Archie, at least you kept that. I mean, that is a lovely piece. I mean, it's a bit of a scratch magnet, that highly polished flat surface it, it's uh it's like it's made of butter but uh at least you kept at least you kept the reverso i mean that is a cool sexy gorgeous piece there it's uh it's it's tempting very very delightful piece and uh at least you you had this sense to keep that i will i will give you some brownie points for keeping the um the reverso and, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's becoming your new signature piece. Just like the Calatrava's gone out, your new signature piece is the Reverso. And, uh, I gotta tell you, one piece which I think Archie's starting to miss now is his Audemars Piguet Royal Oak. The Royal Oak, the 14790ST. And, uh, another piece Archie had fully overhauled and serviced and, uh, it's now gone. It's completely, it's been sold and uh, it's got a new custodian and um, Archie, it's good to see you've reduced your debt. It's good to see you're now on a, you know, life starting to take a new turn. So please, Archie, as you look back at these videos here, just remember it wasn't sustainable. The debt level was scary, scary. And uh, you've dug yourself out of the shit. So, uh, Archie, be proud of yourself. I'm Archibald Chesterfield III. Tell me what you manky, lazy, nasty fuckers think of that. Nice vid. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. 
We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we do in the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get the pre-owned watch, it's like if you get in a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.